Hi everyone, this is Susan Brown at the Center for Better Bones and Alkaline for Life. You know, today I was talking with a very interesting client, Lynn, you'll see here on the screen. Lynn is in Phoenix, and she has been working with the Better Bones program, building bone strength, alkalizing just for a couple months, right Lynn? Is that how long you've been doing it? That's correct. And you know, we have all the clients keep a, a diet record and a pH record. And so when Lynn started out, I always say, keep a couple days pH before we start doing the program, before we start doing the supplements, as you begin changing the diet. And sure enough, her first pH readings were low, 6.2 the first two days. As you, as you might know, we're looking for a 6.5 to a 7.5. 6.2 is really too acidic. And then Lynn went about changing the diet, adding more vegetables, right? More fruits, things like that. Lynn, more pumpkin seeds. She did a great job alkalizing the diet, and she began using the supplements that we recommend, which are supplements that alkalize. And sure enough, the minute she started doing that, her pH bounced up. 7, 7.2, 7.4, 6.2. So I say to Lynn, I say, Lynn, you've done a great job. You've, you've alkalized, and you can see that the diet and the supplements made a big difference. But then Lynn had an interesting observation looking over her records. What did you notice, Lynn? What I noticed was I was on this wonderful path and I was very alkal al alkaline. And one day I had, I had um, eaten really well. I'd done all my supplements. I followed everything to the letter and, and two days actually. And one, one of those two days, I, I actually even ate more fruits and vegetables. Uh-huh. Okay. So I was expecting, Expecting in the morning when I took my little strip and did my little test um, to see, especially on that one day, uh, a very nice uh, reading in the alkaline on the alkaline side of the, the neutral ground there. Makes sense. And I was shocked to see that it was low. It was acidic, and the other day was as well. And two those two days, it, it, this was just such dramatic data for me. Both of those days were days when I had a lot of stress and I was very, very cognizant and mindful of the fact that I was not dealing with that stress well. In fact, one of those days, it carried over into the night and it, was, it took me like four or five hours to go to sleep. Yeah. And that was my lowest reading in terms of the acid side. You know, it's so interesting because when I was looking at your record, I said, gee, she's done great for a whole month except two days. And then you just came up with yourself and said, you know, I noticed without seeing the record, you remembered, I noticed two days where I had a lot of stress. And Absolutely. that is so important because we, we're now knowing that stress is even more important than many other factors. And certainly, I just saw a new study showing that the quality, if you ate high quality fats in the morning and you, and you had a perceived stress in the afternoon, it neutralized all the good effects of the high quality fats. So you give us a good, a good remembrance that we should notice our emotions. And you had a good point. Deal with them. Success, deal with them. Be aware of them. Release them. Process them however we need to process them. Absolutely, use the tools, and I wasn't using the tools, and it was just absolutely hit me square between the eyes. How and we that impacted my body pH. I it was just, I and I because it was the only the only variable. Yeah. Only variable. And, and what we're suggesting to all of you listening is pay attention, look at your, see how stress impacts your pH. It can make a big difference. As soon as she did the minerals, tweaked the diet, she got a great pH, but then it dipped down. If you alkalize, you will have better health. Appreciate you taking your time, Lynn, to talk with us. You keep alkalizing and do well. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Talk later.